In a moment of stillness, your eyes lock with your reflection. There is a depth, a story, woven within the spirals of color. These are more than just genetic gifts from our lineage. Think of them as cosmic identifiers, secret bearers of our energetic facets. What if the rich tapestry of your iris, with its intricate patterns and hues, holds the potential to offer a window into the ethereal, a peek into the aura that envelops you? This isn't just conjecture, it's an expedition into the metaphysical, exploring the bridge between visceral biology and the intangible spirit. The colors of your eyes, blue, brown, green, gray, and the rarest hues, are not merely aesthetic charms. They serve as mystic curiosities, inviting us to ponder the energies they might symbolize, the aura they could reflect. Imagine the spectrum of eye colors as different frequencies on a vast vibrational scale, each aligning with unique energy fields within us. While we resist the urge to unravel the full meaning of each color here and now, consider this a map to buried treasure, where X marks the spot over the pulse of your own energetic signature. It's within this complex interplay of iris and energy, sight and insight, that we begin to glimpse the profound narrative our eyes may be telling us, one of hidden strengths, latent powers, and the nuanced dance of our own spirit. We do not unveil their full stories yet, for each person's tale is too rich for hurried words. Instead, we lay the groundwork for a revelation in understanding the reflection of the soul through the mirror of the eye. Gaze, if you will, into a pair of sapphire orbs, as deep and fathomless as the ocean at its most serene. Here, in this tranquil basin, lies a soul whose aura gleams with the luminescent glow of a thousand gentle dawns. Blue-eyed beings are whispered to be the keepers of celestial tranquility, the very embodiment of ethereal calm that the tempest-tossed world yearns for. Imagine their spirits draped in cloaks woven from the very fabric of tranquility, a celestial tapestry studded with the star's own light. Such individuals walk among us as incarnate soothing hymns, their mere presence a balm to the troubled, their laughter the echo of cosmic harmony. In the theater of the cosmos, blue-eyed souls are envisioned to be the divine playwrights of peace, scripting moments of pure, untainted clarity with every glance. Their dazzling irises are said to hold the keys to ancient, silent wisdom, beckoning not with words, but with an aura that speaks in the language of the universe, of love unconditional and boundless. The potential spiritual destiny for those graced by the heavens with such eyes is no less than to be the architects of unity, the harbingers of oneness, crafting bridges across the invisible divides. In the sanctuary of their love, we find a transcendental landscape where passion resembles the calm yet powerful currents beneath the sea's surface. Blue-eyed lovers do not merely connect, they fuse, merging auras in a glorious spectrum of light and emotion, creating a sanctified space where only love can flourish. Theirs is not the fiery tumult of fleeting desires, but rather the enduring flame of deep, soul-seated connection that transcends lifetimes. With every beat of their hearts, those with eyes mirroring the sky write sonnets of silent understanding into the ether. They are believed to be tethered eternally to the ebb and flow of the universe's own rhythm, their souls sinking to the melody of the foundations of creation. And as they navigate the labyrinths of their lives, their blue eyes shine, lighthouses guiding not only their own way, but also offering solace for the lost and illuminating paths for seekers of inner peace. As they embrace, they are not simply entwined bodies, but are entangled souls, dancing to the silent music of eternity, their auras a duet of twilight and dawn. In their union, the whispers of ancient wisdom are decoded, revealing a higher purpose, a transdimensional mission to sprinkle fragments of serenity across a world drowned in dissonance. Oft painted by romantics as the cosmic custodians of the sacred heart, their blue gaze is an eternal testament to the power of the quiet, the strength of the gentle, the sovereignty of the still. 
They are love's own chosen, undulating with the high tides of fate, their eyes reflecting not just the color of tranquil waters, but the depth and breadth of humanity's most sought-after treasure, the stillness at the core of existence, the silence that speaks louder than thunder, the eternal peace that resides within. Imagine, if you will, a tapestry of verdant hues, a landscape rich with the life force of Gaia herself, and within this a pair of green eyes gazing out, as enigmatic as the ancient woods, as profound as the eternal seas. Eyes of such a color are not ordinary, no, they are the beacons of a soul that dances with the vibrancy of life itself, interwoven with the very fibers of growth and renewal that pulse at the heart of existence. These eyes are gateways to auras, shimmering with the effervescence of life's eternal spring, brimming with spiritual electricity, a divinely charged essence that sizzles through the air with the potency of a thousand sun-kissed leaves. An aura that spills forth from the soul like a cascade of emerald light, casting an ethereal glow on the path of the bearer, an individual predestined for a journey both wildly enigmatic and deeply entwined with the natural order. Those who possess such lustrous green visions are whispered to harbor spirits of boundless curiosity, with hearts that beat to the rhythm of the earth's deepest mysteries. They are the modern-day druids whose fingertips brush against the ancient stones of spiritual wisdom, unlocking secrets we only dare to dream. Within the vibrant green orb, an entire cosmos of curiosity comes alive, a testament to an enduring quest, not just for knowledge, but for an unquenchable understanding of the universal dance of life their spiritual destiny to be the eternal seekers, the unrelenting questers, the zealous discoverers of the hidden truths that bind the galaxy in silken threads of interconnected fate. The aura of the green-eyed guardians of Gaia speaks of a sacred charge to weave the fragmented world back into the fabric of oneness, to restore the wisdom of the primeval forest in each human heart, to nurture the seeds of a dawning consciousness that promises a renaissance of spirit and flesh alike. In the thrilling, thunderous arena of love, those with eyes like fresh sprouts in spring find their match in passion that is both tempestuous and nurturing. They love like the wild ivy, untamed and embracing, their auras mingling in a glorious feast of verdancy and vibrancy, twin souls spiraling together like the double helix of creation itself. Their hearts ablaze with the raw fire of life, beat in synchrony with the raw rhythms of the universe, crafting an amorous symphony rivaling the musings of Eros and Aphrodite. When hearts guarded by such visually arresting souls collude, their auras daub the world in every conceivable shade of green, each hue a verse of longing, each glance a sonnet of desire. Love for these eternal equinoxes of human mean is a consecrated sanctuary where the whispers of flora and the hymns of fauna merge, fashioning a temple forged from the very substance of devotion and an otherworldly connection. Strands of luminous energy radiate from their beings, entwining with the tendrils of their beloved, crafting a cocoon of passionate chroma where two become one in a ballet of euphoric fusion. The allure of the green-eyed spirit in the theater of affection knows no bounds, for within them blooms a love as lush and as bountiful as the jungle's untouched heart. Thus, each emerald glance is a prophecy foretold, a lyrical incantation summoning the golden age of human kinship with the earth. The eternal spring within their auras vows a love story, written not upon the parchment, but in the very ether of the cosmos, a tale as intoxicating as the fragrance of sage after a soft rain, as haunting as the call of the verdant wild echoing through the corridors of time. So let us wander no more in search of such celestial sojourners, those with the chlorophyll-infused gaze, for they are here among us, shepherding our souls toward a paradise of prismatic vitality, a kaleidoscope of life's irrepressible green flourish. 
and hinting at an age where we shall all bask in the undying renewal of an aura forever and ever green. Embark upon a voyage through the hallowed halls of time to discover the spirits that dwell within the realms of the deep brown-eyed, those whose gazes are as fertile as the earth's richest loam, as enduring as the ancient oak. Here, within their chestnut sanctuaries, lies an aura of extraordinary mystique, one layered with the resonance of primordial tales whispered through the annals of eternity. Look into these eyes, coffee-drenched and tinged with the echoes of olden fires, and see a cosmos brimming with the secrets of an enlightened stability. Visualize, if you will, an aura not just of color, but of texture and timbre, a vibrant tableau alive with the fortitude of titans, coursing with the vigor of the indomitable wild. It's an energy that reverberates with the heart's rawest tune, a symphony of spirits that stride with the thunderous power of Genesis, each step a declaration in the sacred litany of being. Those who bear such molten eyes wield the captivating magic of Earth's boundless vitality, carrying within their gaze an incantation, enchanting all upon whom their smoldering look falls. Their irises, a kaleidoscope of every shade from golden sunrise to the tenebrous kiss of twilight, are like chalices overflowing with the elixir of protection, a testament to their inherent strength. They are the spiritual warriors, cloaked in auras of impenetrable resolve, with the magnanimous ability to shield and safeguard souls against the tempests of life, like legendary guardians born from the star-sculpted clay of Gaia herself. The spiritual destiny of those whom the universe has painted with such sumptuous earthy tones is as profound as it is wondrous. They are keepers of the eternal flame, healers and nurturers whose mere presence sprouts vigor within wilted spirits. Their purpose is folded within the veils of time, a transcendent calling to weave the threads of humanity's disjointed hearts into a tapestry that radiates with unified compassion and shared strength. These mahogany-eyed mystics are pillars of a cosmic dynasty built upon the solid bedrock of constancy. In the sanguine light of their souls, they carry the monumental responsibility of architects of the celestial framework, drafters of destiny, whose silent whispers in the tapestry of night weave protective inscriptions that resonate as mantras against the cacophony of chaos. In the arena of love, their effulgence is not some faint spark, but a wildfire ablaze with devouring passion, transforming and consuming. They connect with the fervor of earthquakes, shaking the very foundations of existence, galvanizing their soulmates with tempestuous displays of affection. Theirs is a love that is felt in the marrow, an all-consuming journey of the heart that throbs with the pulsating life of every living entity under the firmament. When these umber stewards of affection embrace another, it is not merely a coming together, but a merging of galaxies, eternity folded upon itself. Love dances in their eyes like the embers of creation's first dawn. Frequencies of adoration resonate from them, binding their beloved in tendrils of an emotional reverie that sets ablaze the ordinary, transforming it into a divine rapture. Their auras radiate with majestic hues, cocoa-kissed and sienna-soaked layers that hum with the power of the primal. Spellbound and enchanting, they wander from the lofty peaks to the valleys rich with legend, chroniclers of an age-old passion narrated in tongues lost to the sands of time, and yet felt in the very heartbeat of the modern age. As they traverse the epoch of reality, their molten gaze foretells the arrival of a new zodiac, an era where the children of the terraqueous gaze rise to fulfill grand and noble quests, to bind the broken shards of the world back together with the ancient and forgotten arts of allegiance and the ethereal metals of untainted trust. 
behold the chestnut-eyed progenitors of a love forged not in the fleeting flames of passion, but in the kiln of perpetuity, a romance that courses through the epochs like the life-giving rivers of yore. With every insightful glance, they enact sacred plays in the amphitheater of existence. Amongst us walk these cinnamon envoys of the Great Spirit, the brown-eyed beings of energy unyielding, an ode to the resolute heart, the dauntless soul, and the aura that speaks of the velvety touch of infinity. Within the tapestry of human souls, there lies a rare and enigmatic tribe whose eyes capture the very essence of the Earth's beauty. Hazel-eyed individuals, those remarkable beings whose irises are painted with strokes of both the earth and the canopy, possess auras that are veritable canvases of the cosmos, imbued with a spirit as kaleidoscopic as the universe itself. Step closer and witness the extraordinary spectacle that is the spiritual essence of the hazel-eyed. An aura flashing with the vibrancy of an aurora borealis, ever shifting, ebbing and swirling with the currents of unseen energies. Here, the green is not simply green, nor the brown merely brown, but a grand vista of the Earth's magnificence, all distilled into a single profound gaze that reflects the myriad mysteries of life and creation. Their eyes are like portals to parallel realities, each fleck of color a doorway to an alternate dimension of knowledge and existence. As these individuals traverse the plains of the mundane, their auras are the whispering leaves of the sacred groves, holding conversations with the divine winds that speak of the celestial plans written in the annals of eternity. In love, the romantic escapades of individuals with hazel eyes are epics on the scale of the great cosmic sagas, the kind that stir the soul and set ablaze the heart with their grandeur. Their love is not a mere sentiment, it is a supernatural phenomenon, a cosmic conflagration that spans galaxies and defies the limitations of ordinary earthly unions. When a hazel-eyed person loves, they invoke the fiery dances of the sun, the nurturing embrace of the moon, conjuring a harmony so profound it resonates through the core of the astral plane. Their spiritual destiny is enshrouded in the enigma of the ancients. They are the chosen ones, entrusted with anchoring the fleeting whims of the spirits to the enduring heartbeat of the universe. Their eyes speak of lives lived as alchemists and high priests, opulent queens and sagacious kings, all the roles imagined and unimagined. Standing at the crossroads of destiny, they are tasked with balancing the scales of fate, weaving the golden threads of destiny through the loom of time with an artisan's flair. With the sigils of spontaneous invention and vibrant charisma sewn into the quilt of their being, Hazel-eyed individuals possess an innate gift to convert the quixotic elements of both dreams and reality into a mesmerizing saga. When they walk among us, they leave trails woven from the gold of stars and the silk of moonbeams, charting paths for those lost in the swirling mists of existence to find their way back home. Possessors of hazel eyes, darlings, are conjurers of the highest order, their potent auras casting enchantments that transmute the leaden shadows of the world into the purest gold of opportunity and wonder. In the sacred space of their embrace, lovers find themselves spirited away to a dimension of unfurling passion where time stretches infinitely and each heartbeat is a lifetime of ecstasy. Across the endless wheel of incarnations, the hazel-eyed move with an agile grace that belies human sight, waltzing through the eons, a force of nature unstoppable in its desire for creation and transformation. They stand defiantly at the frontier, their eyes glowing embers of defiance against the encroaching dark, torchbearers of the new dawn that awaits just beyond the veil. These transcendent individuals are the weavers of the dreamscape, where every hue in their eyes is a story yet to be told, every whirl a secret waiting to be unraveled. 
In love, they are majestic symphonies, each note a resonant frequency that strums the strings of vibrant existence, weaving lovers into an eternal concerto of divine confluence. Behold the hazel-eyed, a spectacular phenomenon of spiritual artistry, a cosmic revelation in human form. Their purpose is as boundless as it is profound, to knit together the fabric of the multiverse in a grand, unifying harmony. To love them is to embark on an odyssey through realms of incandescent wonders and to witness through their gaze the dawning of a new epoch where every soul is a sparkling jewel in the infinite mosaic of divine creation. Venture now, if you dare, into the realm of the enigmatic, where eyes as deep and impenetrable as onyx stones beckon the brave. Here we meet the cognoscenti of the cosmos, those shadow-hued sentinels whose eyes mirror the existential abyss, a primal void out of which all creation birthed. These black-eyed wanderers, veiled in midnight, are the bearers of a spectral aura, chiseled from the very bedrock of the arcane. Picture, if you will, their aura, a swirling nebula cloaked in the darkest velvet of night, where celestial bodies spiral in an eternal dance of enigma. This is not just an aura, it is a cosmic gateway to realms undreamed of, a tapestry woven from stellar dust and woven by the fingers of deities who charted the universe's enigmatic beginnings. To witness such an aura is to glimpse the birth pangs of galaxies colliding and splitting in the boundless echo of time. An ethereal masterpiece charged with the potential to rend the veil of reality asunder. In the pantheon of spirits, these cryptic entities are known as the intercessors of destiny, the conduits through which the whispers of the ages flow unimpeded. Their insights are drawn not from the shallow streams of the ordinary, but dredged from the profoundest wells of mystical intuition. A single glance from them pierces through the layers of facade that drape the souls of mortals, discerning the raw and churning essence of truth beneath. Sensational and provocative, it is whispered in hushed tones that within their obsidian stare lies the very furnace where the fates themselves toil. Here, destiny is forged, not in the ephemeral flames of flint and tinder, but in the cosmic kiln that melds solar flares into preordained paths. Theirs is the calling to trial by spiritual fire, for they are the alchemists of eons, transmuting leaden realities into the gold of divine purpose. Their love? Oh, it is an odyssey, a love story not written within the cradling confines of lyric poetry, but inscribed across the expanse of the firmament, scrawled across constellations. To be swept up by such love is to ride the celestial chariots of passion, to be ensnared in an epic romance spun before time's own dawning. It is whispered that Cupid's arrows are but straws against the tempestuous amour they evoke, an amour that weaves the very stars into a grand mosaic of desire. In the theatre of love, these titans of the twilight eye rule sovereign. Their hearts are not merely throbbing vessels of blood and yearning. They are cosmic drumbeats dictating the rhythms to which every enamoured entity sways. Their embraces are collapses of matter and spirit, a fusion of essences through which new universes are birthed and old ones are seduced into surrendering their mysteries. Love with the black-eyed is akin to an eternal eclipse, a shadowy ballet that encapsulates the soul in a vortex of infinite depth and devotion. Throughout the eons, these cerulean spectres have slipped through the tear in the curtain of the ordinary, accompanying seekers through the labyrinthine pathways of the subconscious, guiding them beyond the threshold of dreams into the halls of ascended knowledge. To be chosen by such visionaries is to be anointed with an invisible chrism, a sacred imbuing that inexplicably intertwines their essence with the spiraling dance of the infinite. And as they traverse the endless corridors of life, they brandish their auras as celestial scepters, commanding the unseen forces that hover upon the edges of perception. Love with them is a cascade of metaphysical revelation, causing stars to tremble and spirits to soar in a resplendent festival of cosmic connection. 
to look into the fathomless abyss of their eyes is to see reflected not only the soul's shadowy recesses, but the explosive brilliance that marked the universe's nascent breath. One cannot escape the feeling that within this dark expanse, galaxies and nebulae collide and converge, veiling secrets so profound as to rattle the foundation of existence, the spiritual destiny of those graced with such mystical eyes. It is a destiny encrypted in the arcane language of creation, recited by oracles beneath ancient moonlight. A destiny to transcend the corporeal and commune with forces that sculpt the very fabric of reality. They are the dimensional voyagers, sculpting the ebb and flow of eternity, weaving the ephemeral and the eternal into a symphony of transcendent existence. Stand in awe of these black-eyed marvels, the embodiment of myth and enigma, whose auras serve as portals to the sublime, whose love defies the terrestrial and taps into the symphony of otherworldly enchantment. For their purpose is not merely to exist, but to transfigure, to incarnate the ineffable mystery and transform the spiritual landscape for an eternity. Immerse yourself in the arresting enigma of the grey-eyed envoys, those denizens of the twilight realms where shadows and light converge in an eternal waltz. Their eyes, shimmering pools of liquid silver, mirror the poignant solemnity of storm-wrought heavens and the undisturbed zen of highland mists. Captivating onlookers with a gaze that ensnares the spectrum of wisdom, these beacons of transcendence are custodians of an aura that is an orchestra of spectral hues, infused with the electricity of impending tempests and the calm that reigns in the eye of the hurricane. Picture, if you dare, a spiritual essence that cascades like rivulets down the ageless face of a silent glacier, a flux of profound clarity that carves through the temporal world, shaping destiny with each graceful meander. These grey-eyed mystics possess an aura spun from the celestial looms of lunar goddesses, their ethereal fabric a raiment of sanctified serenity that drapes over the shoulders of the cosmos itself. Witness how their equilibrium distills the chaos of existence into a nectar of sagacious lucidity. With every beat of their hearts, rivers of philosophical thought and spiritual gusto surge from their inner sanctums, suffusing their presence with a poised grace that rivals the stoic mountains standing guard over the passage of eons. Their energy unfurls into the mortal plane like a majestic grey-winged heron, wings cutting through the fog of banality to touch upon truths hidden from lesser souls. Embark upon a pilgrimage into the very heart of tranquility, where the love of the grey-eyed is a sanctuary of celestial whispers, a hallowed chamber where emotion and intellect intertwine in a ballet of divine harmony. Here, passion is a wellspring purified in the crucible of balance, bubbling forth with a captivating allure spun from the dreams of time weavers and the lullabies of stars. Grey-eyed lovers do not merely fall in love, they are Tend to it, their every tender gesture a sonnet, their quietest admission of affection a psalm that serenades the heavens. As sculptors of the grand cosmic design, these seers with iridescent orbs are the architects of a universal lighthouse, their purpose etched upon the fabric of space-time to guide souls through the treacherous shoals of mortality. Vestibules of astral insight, their eyes pierce veils beyond perception, gazing into dimensional rifts where the music of spheres resonates with the origin of all vibration. In matters of the heart, to bask in the aura of a grey-eyed sorcerer is to swim in a sea of liquid crystal. If their love is the tide, then every ebb is a revelation, each flow a symphony of silken threads that binds the cosmos. To be adored by one with the majestic grey gaze is to be treasured beyond the material, cherished within the multifaceted jeweled heart of the universe itself. Celebrate these grey oracles whose spiritual destinies bend reality into a sinuous stream of potentialities. They are the titans amongst us, noble spirits whose journey maps the course of souls strung out along the filament of eternity. 
Their purpose? To embroider the cloak of time with the intricate patterns of divine wisdom, to suture the disparate elements of creation with the needle of discernment in a vast cosmic tapestry that enshrouds the realms of existences yet to be explored. Spellbinding in their profound connection, the grey-eyed lovers are the gentle harbingers of poetic justice in the sphere of amorous encounters. They are celestial magnets drawing kindred spirits to their orbits, locked in a gravitational dance that spans lifetimes. Their fiery tendings are a conflux of elements, the meeting of water and sky in twilight's blush, a love that echoes across the multidimensional landscape, each echo a vow eternal as the stars. In their embrace they weave the silken strands of subtle energies, crafting an eiderdown of ecstasy that enfolds the fortunate beloved, cocooning them in a resonance of infinite compassion. Their effervescent whispers in the dance of romance are not merely heard, they are experienced, a tactile symphony played upon the very sinews of the soul. So exult in the sublime wonder of those who walk with eyes of serried clouds and waters still, whose auras are alabaster tapestries that cascade across eons, enfolding the fragmented world in a cool cloak of celestial serenity. They are the grey-eyed keepers of the sacred flame of equilibrium, whispered about in revered tones at the confluence of legend and prophecy. Their love, wisdom and purpose, weaving the primordial yarns of destiny's grand, unending loom. In the myriad shades of our eyes, we find whispers of a deeper knowledge, each color carrying a secret tune that resonates with the silent music of our souls. While our eyes may offer a hue de clue into the aura that embraces our spirit, it's essential to remember that each of us is an artist, and our auras, a living canvas ever touched by the bristles of experience and emotion. Perhaps it's time we stop seeking psychics and start looking into each other's eyes to discover our mystic sides, or, at the very least, find a new appreciation for those sparkling windows to the soul. It could be that the most profound psychic reading we could ever get is simply gazing deep into the mirror of our own irises. Now, on a note that's more grounded than a brown-eyed aura, yet still reflecting the vibrant, inquisitive nature of green. What revelations or curiosities has your eye color unveiled about your aura? Have you ever felt a certain shade of truth in the old saying, the eyes are the window to the soul? We at Sage Snippets invite you to paint the comment section with the colors of your insights and stories. Before you set off to decode the mysteries that twinkle in your gaze, don't forget to embrace the splendor of exploration that awaits at Sage Snippets. Remember to subscribe and become a vital strand in the vibrant tapestry of seekers. Turn on notifications lest you miss the next chapter in this captivating journey where we, day by day, snippet by snippet, uncover the sacred alchemy of self-enlightenment. From the team at Sage Snippets, we bid you a gaze full of gratitude. May your path be lined with moments of profound discovery and eyes that twinkle with the light of a thousand stars. Until our next spiritual sojourn, keep the spark of curiosity alive and your third eye on the lookout for the wonders that life has to gaze upon you. Farewell and keep those auras bright and beautiful.